is crucial, that the EU does not supply or help the goods or services that could uh, lead to the death penalty or torture. Europe's lead in technological innovation can be a double-edged sword when it comes to tools and services exported to countries which torture and kill their citizens. Human rights organizations say torture continues in half of the 158 countries that ratified a convention banning it. And the global trade in tools used for it is booming. The space for uh, civil society, the uh, democratic countries in the world are shrinking. Uh, we've just seen that press freedom worldwide is also diminishing and so uh, we as, as representatives in open societies and democracies have to be very vigilant. EU law binding on all member states was agreed in 2005, but despite changes since, many loopholes remain. Now Parliament, urged by civil society bodies, is seeking to tighten those. We are seeking to limit the export of very blatant uh, tools that are used for, uh, for torture, such as chaining people people or beating people, uh, but also medicines that could be used to give a lethal injection, for example, should not be sold to uh, prisons or uh, law enforcement uh, agencies. There is evidence that existing legislation works. It's been reported to Parliament from the USA that the ban on medical substances that can be used for executions there has made them more difficult to perform.